he did a, he said he did a hog rider. He said hog rider, and, but it was more like hog rider. <laughs> Joe here, and uh, today we're going to be doing a stream called Clash Academy. So basically what we're going to be doing is taking a look at our war and looking at war attacks and, um, you know, breaking them down, fails, uh, successes, how they, where they went you know, wrong, where they went well. Uh, but first, we're going to take a look at the uh, little bit of information that came out from Supercell today, guys. If you're not aware of the balancing changes that took place or was you know released today and made public, uh, they did drop some announcements today on uh some up you know some updates that are soon to be in game i'm not exactly sure what day they're going to be publishing this uh however they did do a buff on the cannon uh no correction they're doing a reduction on the cannon so they're going to nerf the cannon they're going to nerf the archer tower a little bit they're going to put a little bit of a buff on the mortar the mortar is in fact uh really irrelevant to be honest with you so they're kind of trying to fix that a little bit uh, so, you know, with a little bit of a buff, is going to be, you know, a heavy target on melee troops like the barbs and goblins and stuff like that. Uh, the expo, that is the significant change here. The expo is going to be taking or be receiving a massive buff, so to speak. In, in light of these, you know, updates or in light of the uh, changes to the troops, the balancing changes to the defenses, they're going to be doing some troops as well. So the barbarian is going to get a little bit of a buff, actually quite a bit of a buff. At level 7, they're going to go up from, uh, I think it's 74 to 101 on hit points and then you got the eagle what are they doing with the eagle fix minor bug with the eagle and then war league so they're going to be doing uh, demote only one clan to bronze league bronze leagues promote one clan to master and champions league so that's you know it's pretty significant stuff uh you know nothing major right now uh those are the current balancing changes that they are going to be implementing into the game here soon so pay attention to the expos guys looks like the expos are going to be getting quite a bit of a buff but anyways so back on topic uh we are in the middle of a war over here in pdx uh paradox enigma um yeah great job guys for those of you that are in the clan that are watching the stream right now phenomenal work um this is a clan of you guys i mean that's really the only way i can put it this this is a clan of subscribers so it's just myself uh stash you know i've known stash for a couple of years uh another special person is here that's you know been hanging out with us for a couple of years now um but yeah the rest of you guys that made up this clan is in fact subscribers so uh, you know, that's that's great work. I, I greatly appreciate you guys dropping in. We are up 37 to 40 or to 26, 42 minutes remaining in this war. However, there was some, you know, bloopers going on in this war. I mean, there was there was uh, there's a couple of attacks that I was a little. All right. So the, the here, the healers here, they've switched over to the queen queen stuck on a wall. Level six queens, very low queen. Um, a, a haste spell. <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing on this. I really got nothing on this. Uh, you know, I was just like, kind of, I don't know, you know. Now, I did have a fail this morning myself. Well, not really a fail, but 90, what was it, 90, what did I have, a 93 or something like that? 96%. So, I mean, even I make mistakes as well. Probably not the best idea attacking from the gym. However, uh, you know, I thought I had it. So, uh, we'll take a look at that and we'll, you know, review what could have been done better on that attack as well. Uh, but as you know, before I get too far into it, guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really great, you know, helps us out a lot. You make sure you uh, like and then uh, drop comments below and all the other good stuff. Uh, by the way, guys, if you have questions, ask them in the stream and uh, they'll get passed along to me. Um, if you are watching the replay, drop comments below for questions that you might have, and we'll you know go back and take a look at things and maybe do it in the next week's um, uh, Clash Academy. So, anyways, we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Um, Town Hall 8s, we got Town Hall 8s, we got Town Hall 9s, we got Town Hall 10s, 11s, and 12s. So we got a little bit of everything here. Alright, so look, look, we got a queen over here, and we got clan castle troops. We got two air defenses in the core, one air defense down here on the southeast of the base, and where is the other one? Okay, up here in the north. So, you know, realistically speaking, I don't see a skeleton spell in his composition. He's got a lot of rages. Not really sure why he brought that many rages. He doesn't need that many rages. You only need about two ish, ish, maybe one. If you know, for a lot of low army, you want a lot of haste spells and you want to really have a pre plan on where to drop them. So, anyways, moving along, he's going to do a little bit of a suicide hero here. You know, a level 18 king, level 19 queen. So they're not fully maxed out for Town Hall 9. Um, and he's going after the air defense. That's realistically what he's going after. So he uses the king's ability. 
very early. I mean, he didn't necessarily need to do that. He could have saved it and probably got a lot more value out of the king. Okay, he's using rages here on the king. Uh, I'm trying not to show too many facial expressions, but I mean, uh, some, some of the things that are happening right now, I'm not really sure what's going on. So it's kind of like, I don't know. So we got poison spell. Queen is going to battle it out with the baby dragons and deal with skeletons, and she will in fact go down. I'm not sure if the ability was missed there or not. I wasn't exactly paying attention. I'm still in awe right now, okay? So we still have a queen up, mind you. We still have a, an archer queen there and no skeleton spell in the composition to take care of her. So he's going to use two rages right off the bat. Massive group of balloons. Now here's the problem. We got Teslas that are over here in this compartment that are not going to be touched whatsoever. All of the balloons are going to group up and they're going to just basically split out, split off in the core. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. However, the queen is not near, you know, she's right up on a defense, but she's not going to get, I don't think she's going to actually get hit by anything and she's going to pick off balloons. That's very, very bad. Very, very bad for a balloon attack. So in order to improve this, improve this attack, uh, a little bit better of a kill squad. Uh, the air defense was in too too deep for a suicide hero. I would not necessarily use suicide heroes for air defense that you know close in the base. I would have probably done a little bit of a gobo laloon maybe. I haven't used that in a really long time, so I'm not exactly positive if that would have been effective. However, I believe that it could have been effective to be able to get into the base, take care of the clan castle troops and the archer queen, and possibly get a little bit more value out of the kill squad to open it up for you know a back end laloon attack instead of a mass laloon. So. Uh, yeah, he will end up failing on this attack because he runs out of time, not enough cleanup, and he still has a Tesla over there to deal with. So Ray, Ray, all right, so backstory on Ray. Ray used to be in, were you in Elite Gaming? You were in Elite Gaming, weren't you? Uh, so he did play high-level competitive CWL war. However, uh, he needed to take a break, and he ended up retiring for a while, getting caught up on Fortnite. I'm sure he's still playing Fortnite, but, um, you know, I guess me coming back kind of sparked some interest with some people. I'm not really sure. You, only you guys know this. Um, but Ray came back and uh, he showed a little bit of his rust. So we're going <laughs> to... So it looks like we got a shattered uh, Goho here. Uh, you know, two golems with the uh, you know back-end hogs. So, you know, still has it when it comes to, you know, placement of golems. Really good placement of golems. Uh, he's got a Valkyrie in there. A little bit of red wit red witch action uh he's got a good spread on his wizards the tanks are taking care of all the defenses so that way it is you know soaking up the damage for the wizards now he's going to send a hog in there to kind of help with some of those defenses off to the flank over here and we do have a lava hound in the clan castle so that's going to tie up wizards and uh the archer queen for quite a bit now here's the here's a big problem right here so we got bowlers you know bowlers work best when they are together not spread out when they spread out like this and separate is never a really good thing and then he also started on the hog portion now this is not a bad thing because when you have a lava hound in the clan castle at town hall 9 you do not want to pop it realistically you do not want to pop it um you know the, the defensive one at least that way you don't have pups chasing the hogs but uh his queen is targeting that hound and now he started to go ahead and get the hogs in to try to you know get get going but what happens here is he actually spreads the hogs out really really thin like incredibly thin so it, it i think it turned bad on him because he you know he does drop two heal spells back to back and you never you know you very rarely see that now we got you know two skeleton traps spun up and you know no no more hogs hogs are being chased by skeletons very thin hog drop there so not enough value out of the kill squad very thin or very thinned out kill squad that turned into very thinned out hogs trying to make up for you know the difference there so you know ray wanted me to show that attack and that's that's <laughs> you know what that is that is rust is what that is he'll, he'll get it back if he you know if he plays enough uh he will figure out you know how to fix the deficiencies in the, pro in the process now how he could have fixed that probably not brought bowlers maybe maybe you know Use Valkyries or something to get you know get through there and clean up. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say that he came in from the wrong end. Uh, it's not a bad location that he came in, but he could have come from the opposite side. All right. Anyways, moving on. Stash. Let's see. We took a look at that one. Okay. So this was my attack this morning, right? <clears throat> not a maxed out base. I know it's not maxed out, but I'm going to use hogs. <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to you know take on one side of the base. Symmetrical base, very easy to negotiate. 
uh, old school style. This is really like a ta old Town Hall 9 base. Um, you know, Wall Wrecker in the center. Queen is battling it out with the Wall Wrecker. And our Golems are going to turn in. So I let the, you know, Wizard, Wizard clear. Pull the Clan Castle. We're going to drop the Poison spell mainly for that, um, that balloon. Got to get rid of that balloon. Um, and I think we had Valkyries in the Clan Castle, right? There's some Valks in there. I don't know where they're at, though. I think we might have lost the Valkyries in the core there. It didn't really matter, though. It really didn't matter. King's ability has already been popped. And now what we're going to do with these hogs is we're going to basically walk them around the base. They're going to work their way into the core. They're being chased by a lava pup, and they're being chased by a skeleton spell. So we're going to use that queen's ability. She was being targeted by the uh, the inferno tower. <laughs> the inferno tower power. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so the hogs bounce out. They get that, and we're going to bring in a, you know the last couple of hogs to finish up down here in the south. And they're going to basically work their way around. I still have a third heal spell to finish up in this last location so patience with the heal spells we did manage to keep our queen alive that's actually you know a good thing so yeah there's that right let's see here much respect to youtubers after trying to make video uh yeah yeah it's a lot of work echo sent me now i'm a fan glad to be a subscriber awesome yeah echo is my brother from another mother <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, that just reminds me. I, I don't even know how I could forget that, but congratulations to Echo Gaming and Clash Bashing. Uh, 100,000 and 200,000 respectively. So, I mean, that's that's phenomenal work. It's a lot of work, guys. A lot of work for you know a channel to grow at that rate. Uh, it takes a lot of time. I might have been able to do it. I don't know if I had stuck with it back, you know, back to the end of 2017, but unfortunately, real life does tend to take over and um, it kind of shut me down for a while, but we are back. And we will see what happens in the future. I want to make this, you know, in time I want to make this a full-time thing, but I have to, you know, have a little bit of sponsorship and support to be able to do that. Uh, we are, I am a college student, so, you know, I can't really necessarily go full on, right? All right, anyways, so you see what happens there. I'm not going to show any more of that attack. The war has ended, and congratulations, Paradox Enigma, your first win. Great work, guys. Uh, if you guys are sticking around, I hope, I hope we can spin another one. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. I think we're going to finish it up on this last attack here, guys. Uh, looks like everybody's kind of taken off at this point. Not a big deal. Um, greatly appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So, Stash, back at it again uh, with these got looks like Hogs. So, I mean, so far I've seen Hogs and Bow Witch at Town Hall 10. I would imagine Balloons are still good as well. So, I mean, really, I'm, realistically, I'm starting to see a pattern now. I'm, I'm seeing a pattern with... A lot of the same strategies that were out in 2017 when I retired uh, are still very much alive and they are still very powerful so realistically speaking it's gonna be a matter of you know how we're gonna go about building content for this stuff to try to keep it alive the game is not they're not done supercell is not done by any means I mean I see this thing going and going and going it's just a matter as long as they continue to come up with new ideas you guys got to come up with new ideas and share those ideas uh you know and share them with us you know the content creators that way we can influence you know the the, the developer and hopefully you know keep this game going it is a really good game it survived six years so far i mean you really can't complain and then, other than the amount of money that i've spent on it let's not pay attention to that so anyways he has three heal spells one on the map right now two in his composition and he has the hogs kind of traveling around. Now this is it's a little bit dangerous. It is a little bit dangerous because he's got a king chasing and you know you take a risk of the spring traps. He didn't use all of his hogs though, so he did hold on to some hogs, but it is dangerous to kind of walk hogs around on a ring base because they do tend to find uh, spring traps. And I haven't seen any springs yet though. That's kind of odd, very odd, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, that, that, that attack is done. He's gonna, he doesn't have a lot of cleanup though. That, that is something that I would be concerned about not having anything on the back end for cleanup. He does have, you know, he's got a wizard down here, but the wizard's targeting a wall. I mean, that's not doing him any good. So, you know, holding on to stuff at the back end of the attack is always a really good idea. That's probably my point for the evening is to, is to maintain something on the back end of the attack. You have to keep a minion or two, maybe a baby dragon or something. To, to come in in the event that you don't have, you know, you have something on the other side of the map that you just can't get to in time, and time will burn you in that situation. 
And on that note, guys, I'm going to wrap up the stream. This video will be, uh, you know, edited. We're going to shave it down, maybe do some funny stuff in between, maybe do some bloopers in between scenes. I don't know. I'm not really sure how I'm going to address it, but that's going to wrap us up for the Clash Academy for the, the evening. Uh, we will be doing this every Thursday, I hope. So next Thursday, plan for this. And if you guys got any you know, questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. We will you know, screenshot them, save them for next week, and we will be coming back with another war or a farming strategy or something, whatever you guys are looking for, and build more content. But anyways, that's going to wrap us up for this evening, guys. Uh, smash that like button if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching, guys. These streams are a lot of fun. I mean... Tuesdays and Thursdays, that, that's what we're aiming for. So if you guys can stop in, I mean, that'd be awesome. It's it's a lot of fun, uh, you know, going over these attacks and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, what you think? Let me know. Try new stuff.